Well, around here today, well, temperatures on the cool side, but nobody really cared about the temperatures today because we had a whole lot else going on. But the warmest readings were south and west of where that uh, mesoscale convective vortex or MCV impacted central and northeast Arkansas today. Temperatures this evening just after 10 o'clock, pretty mild, holding in the 60s to around 70 degrees. And with the recent rainfall and also some breaks in the overcast, we could see the potential for some areas of fog tonight. Visibility may be reduced in some places, so take that... Uh, Keep that in mind for the morning commute when you're taking the kids to work or school. Well, not taking the kids to work, taking yourself to work or taking the kids to school. 66 right now in the capital city. Winds are currently calm, the barometer currently rising, but it doesn't mean weather's going to get any better. We just have that one upper level storm system moving away. The remnants of a complex of thunderstorms spinning right along Interstate 30 and 67, 167 earlier today. Exactly at the wrong time, right when daytime heating was initiating, it pulled in a lot of warm and moist air coming up from the Gulf of Mexico across southeast Arkansas, and that thing blew up right over Hot Spring County and moved rapidly off to the northeast. But fortunately, as we mentioned, no serious injuries, although there was some damage reported with uh, numerous tornadoes having so far been confirmed across the area. The next batch of thunderstorms, thankfully, is headed off to our south for tonight. Uh, we may see an isolated shower too, but we're not looking at a big complex of thunderstorms headed our way. So sleep well tonight. We're not expecting any severe weather or any rain of any consequence for that matter. Tomorrow afternoon is where we're going to have to start looking to the west again. Main storm system be coming out of Texas and Oklahoma. Showers and thunderstorms becoming more numerous by afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms likely for Friday night into the day on Saturday. Some of that rain likely to be heavy. It'll be tapering off by Saturday evening. Sunday and Monday, folks, looks fantastic. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Pleasantly warm temperatures, low humidity, but no sooner does it clear out when we get our next pair of cold fronts and storm systems headed our way. One of those dropping north, uh, dropping south from the north uh, of our region, moving through parts of Kansas and Minnesota. I should say, can, it's been a long day. Kansas and Missouri, another storm system coming out of Texas. A lot of Gulf moisture headed our way. That is going to result in heavy additional rainfall. Another inch or two possible as we head into tomorrow into early Saturday, but the total rainfall over the next seven days likely to be creeping up near five or six inches from Little Rock to the south and west, Texarkana, along Interstate 30, with three to five additional inches, inches elsewhere across the state. Again, two waves, one of those coming tomorrow and Saturday, an inch or two, and more rain middle of next week. Flash flood watch in effect for West Arkansas right on through the Saturday morning hours. And there is a marginal risk of severe weather out across the southwest tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon. Little Rock tonight, maybe a shower, patchy fog down to 62 for your day on Friday. Showers and thunderstorms becoming likely in the afternoon with a high temperature up to 73. Crane team weather impact number bumping it to a five for Friday and Saturday. Next seven days, look for temperatures to be warming up as we get more sunshine. Enjoy it for Sunday and Monday because we're going to see more rain, possibly heavy at times, and maybe some strong thunderstorms by the middle of next week. Stick around. We'll be right back.